With the festive season in full swing, Police Minister Peggy Tele and SAP's National Commissioner General Fani Masemola are briefing the media on policing efforts. This is to safeguard the holiday period. The briefing is also expected to reflect on the first 10 working days for the new constables who recently graduated and deployed to the stations across the country. Let's take a listen. Our hands are on deck as a police to protect citizens and their properties through the SAP festive season operational plan. The operational plan which was put in place on the 15th of October is being tailored according to pro provincial prime patterns. As the Minister of SEPS Management, we are convinced the operational plan this festive season is effective and should be maintained for safer holidays. The country's law enforcement agencies have and continue to respond decisively to crime this holiday season and beyond. It is on this score that the SEPS is maintaining high visibility on our roads and at ports of entry to arrest crime and any form of criminality on transit. Since the 15th of October, police have conducted 3,000 364 roadblocks across the country. Officers have conducted over 200,000 stop and searches and 26,569 vehicles checkpoints. Over 500,000 vehicles and foot patrols across the country have so far been conducted in, in communities. As part of the crime prevention efforts, as part of the crime prevention efforts, the SEPS has also conducted almost half a million com compliance inspection at gun shops, second, good, second hand goods, tavern and liquor outlets. Pursuing wanted per uh, suspects, murder, rape and GPVF suspects has also been high on the priority of police work. 6,000 244 tracking and tracing operations have been conducted since October. The new constables who have joined the police service are providing, are proving to be valuable addition in the, tra in the safer festive season operational plan. Just 10 days in their post, they have certainly increased the footprint of SEPs. For 10 days, they have been deployed to maintain high visibility, especially in areas of business, leisure, and around transport hubs across identified areas. In our interaction with shoppers, holiday makers, and motorists, and commuters through Safer Festive Season Roadshow, the high police visibility has been highly welcomed. Through our bold efforts and our decisive policing approach, to fighting crime, police operations continue to ensure that we get a grip on serious and violent crime in the country. Since 15th October to date, police have arrested over 75,000 suspects for various crimes. This includes 560 murder suspects, 604 suspects have been charged with attempted murder, and 470 rape suspects have been taken off our streets. 6,700 assault GPV suspects, G GPA suspects, and almost 5,000 alle alleged assaulters have been arrested for common assault. 408 suspects who tried to break into business properties have been arrested. 561 people found in possession of firearms and ammunition are also behind bars. During this time, over 11,000 undocumented individuals have been arrested in efforts to deport the out of the uh, and efforts to deport them out of the country. While it is appreciated that the festive season is a time for enjoyment and festiv festivities, it remains very alarming that some motorists still choose to drink and drive. Police have arrested 4,488 drunk drivers since the 15th of October. 
since the start of December to 22 to the 22 of December 2,500 people have been arrested for public drinking across the country. 850 people were nabbed for being drunk and disorderly in the public place. Police are acting hard on the abuse of liquor, which remains a core driver of crime, especially contact crimes. We are giving a stern warning to those who are stubbornly opting to trade liquor illegally that their liquor establishment will be shut down and the liquor will be confiscated as, they, as the owners of those establishments will be arrested. To date, inspection at liquor outlets have resulted in the 6,410 fines issued to non-compliance. Just in the first 22 days of December, police have arrested 17,000 844 suspects for illegal trading in liquor, in liquor. We continue to call on liquor traders to trade responsible and liquor traders must be fully compliant. This is a non-negotiable. A further 13,244 suspects have been arrested by police and charged with drug-related crimes this festive season. The sporadic crime incidents so far this holiday season bolster Bolster policing efforts to ensure that safety and security of these live of, of these living within our borders and, and, and their properties remain safe. While crime levels are not acceptable, what is clear is that the space for criminals to operate has been squeezed as a result of amplified police intervention. A bolstered intelligence community high-density targeted and disruptive operations in identified area accompanied by the extended police footprint of the ground through the inclusion of new constable has worked in our favor. The work of SEPs has so far resulted in numerous breakthroughs which I wish to highlight some of them. In Houghton, the SEPs in Houghton, together with the SNTF, have made inroads in tackling illegal mining and arrested more than 300 undocumented foreign nationals who are also sus suspected to be illegal miners. I want to make this point that uh, this operation of dealing with illegal mining continues. There is no holiday around that. So we are warning these Zamazamas that there will be no Christmas for them. High caliber firearms, which include AK-47 rifles, were recovered. A substantial amount of tools used illegal illeg in illegal mining, including gas cylinders, generators and explosives, were seized. Still in Houting, in Nomzama Park, in the south of Johannesburg, three Lesotho nationals believed to be illegal miners were arrested and three AK-47 rifles and ammunition were recovered. In Western Cape, with days of commission of crime, within days of commission of crime, a serial offender was arrested for the murder of CPF culture person who was shot and killed at her home in Kukulejo. Last night, the Serbs in the Western Cape arrested suspects found in position of illegal high caliber rifles during a roadblock in N1. Northwest, five suspects were arrested for a murder of nine people, of which four high caliber firearms were recovered and 30 illegal immigrants were arrested during a police take takedown. You remember that nine people were shot and killed in Shipin a few days ago. These are the people that have been arrested. In the police service continued efforts to address the illicit market. Serbs in the Eastern Cape had, had recovered 8 million rand worth of counterfeit goods, which, while Houghton Serbs have removed 250,000 rand worth of counterfeit goods off the street. The illicit goods include expired food items, toiletries, electronics and tobacco products. It is on the score 
that public is cautioned against buying these illicit goods and any other stolen goods. As it is common knowledge that the festive season is a period largely characterized by festivities and increased migration of people within and across the borders. This is also a time where crime migrates from inland regions towards the coastal cities where there are higher population numbers. In the SEPs response to the National Rural Safety Strategy, we continue to work together with the farming community. These operations have yielded results where livestock have been recovered and suspects arrested. In Limpombo, we arrested not just the stock theft, but those that are carried meat that they have slaughtered illegally. So they don't just steal the stock, they also steal and slaughter the stock now. And police have made significant finding on those. Serbs in Free State arrested two suspects after allegedly stealing livestock. 19 sheep carcasses were found in their possession. Fellow South Africans, this holiday period is also anchored by high policy visibility, the SEPs working closely with community policing structures to minimize crime. The work of the country community policing forum has also been bolstered as CPF continue to be supplied with vehicles and communication tools to trade it through the 70 million funding that we have availed. In closing, the Christmas Eve, police are under instruction to continue to saturate the streets and prevent crime or act swiftly when this has occurred. Especially when it comes to the women and children issues, we leave no stone unturned, we respond swiftly and quickly. This will continue even after the festive season. We are making a clear on call on all those in the country to remain extra vigilant of their surroundings and minimize their risk of falling victims of crime. We also call on citizens to report any suspicious activities to law enforcement and continue to work closely with the police against common enemy, which happens to be the crime. Siabonga, thank you very much. Danke. All South Africans to be safe. Thanks.